What up, champions? Welcome to the Work in the Weekend YouTube channel. I'm Belle. I'm Travis. And we're here to bring you another one of our Vino Vlogs. What do we have today, Trav? I got a rosé. It's kind of refreshing. You know, when you're really thirsty and you grab some water, well, when you want wine, this is kind of the water version of wine. I've been a big fan of rosé for a long time, but I always find it so refreshing in the summer, especially a good dry rosé. So this is a French wine, which is fine, but those always have the names that are most difficult to pronounce for me. <laughs> Chateau, Chateau de Fabregue. Fabregue. Who knows how to pronounce Coistre these things? Coistre de Nimes. Anyways, that's a Grenache Syrah Rosé, and it is, its vintage is 2015, and um, we're going to try it. So think about France, Paris in the north, think about P. Diddy in the south. Where's P. Diddy hanging out? Saint-Tropez. Saint-Tropez. Yeah. Why are people hanging out in Saint-Tropez? Well, because the weather's nice and it's right by the Mediterranean. Mm. Well, the Rhone Valley, which is where this comes from, is also in the south. I'm not a super big fan of rosé. Belle, you like rosé? Love it. Why do you like rosé? It's a patio drink. It's something for the summer. It's refreshing. It's cold. You know the thing with the rosé is it's a little bit too fruity, and I'm not a big fan of fruit. I'll have a handful of blueberries in the morning or something, maybe half a banana after a marathon, <laughs> which I don't run. But other than that, I'm not a big fruit guy. This being a Grenache Syrah mix, it's actually 73% Grenache. Blend. 27% Syrah. So if that means anything to you, there's that information. <laughs> so let's try and figure out how to open this. Is this childproof? I think you might can twist it. Okay. Whoa. Well, you could keep this. Yeah, it's a glass stopper. Let me see. Yeah, I've seen these on some of some of the new, newer bottles. There's some screw tops lately, and people think that screw tops equates to cheap, and it's not necessarily. It's a way to preserve the wine and get a more consistent product, because sometimes corked wines um, can go bad, like two out of every case, or I don't remember the statistic that I learned in Napa. You know a fun fact that I learned, I don't know, maybe a couple years ago, but it seems kind of late to be learning this, is that the rubber corks, mm -hmm. you don't smell those. It's weird because it's not, it's not natural, so it's not going to absorb right. the essence of the wine like a natural cork way. So then I don't know who the joke's on. Me for smelling it, which it was just handed to me, or the, the, person, the person who, who opened the wine who handed me the rubber cork. So, you ready for your pour? Sure. So delicate we are. I love the color of this rosé. Mmm. It's not very fragrant. I can't tell if it's not that fragrant or if it's because of my allergies again. Okay, I think after smelling it deeply, I feel like strawberry. So I checked the stats on this, and if you said strawberry, you are correct. Ew, my you get a car, nice. you get a car, <laughs> you get a car. Okay. Well, let's do the taste test because I'm not smelling anything. All right. you taste anything? I do, but it's interesting. It's a very unique... Hold on. Let's take another sip. Hmm. That's a strong wine. I feel like it's a kind of in-your-face, like, bold rosé. Do you feel acid? Acidic? No. Oh, see, you I do? feel like... I, do, I feel like I do. I just feel like it's strong. Actually, I don't think I like it very much. I feel like it's strong. And, like, I don't know that I feel like this is... That refreshing. I might drink this whole thing just trying to find some kind of flavor. I wonder if this bottle might be bad. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't taste like anything. It tastes bad to me. <laughs> Madeline recommended this to us. Madeline? Mm-hmm. Madeline at Total Wine, girl. <sighs> I 
I don't know about this one. This is to me, it's like there's too much going on. This just doesn't agree with me. But I am kind of allergic to red wine. So Bella just got her allergies tested. Mm -hmm. She failed 54 out of 58 allergy tests. Eight of those things were all these different types of molds. And so they told me that I'm likely allergic to red wine too, which I've had the suspicion of because I don't necessarily feel that great when I drink it. And even just like half a glass, I'm just like, this, is, this isn't hitting me right. Bell, would you consider this taste session a pass or fail? A fail. I'm not into it. But, you know, everyone's palate is different. Well, I don't want to drink alone. So, do we have any more wine in the fridge? We have lots more wine in the fridge. Let's go drink it. Bye, champions. See you next time.